They're going to be out there soon, man. Ever since opening one of Vancouver's first licensed cannabis retail shops, Spencer Sangara has had his sights set on another city. We're working hard to be one of the first stores that open in Surrey. It's one of the fastest growing cities in Canada, with untapped market potential. But there's one problem. Surrey still doesn't permit legal cannabis retail stores. Since I first opened here, the, one of my biggest demographic of customers were people coming from Surrey. So I think Surrey, definitely one of the most underserved um, communities in all of Canada for cannabis. The Surrey Board of Trade sees cannabis as a potential economic boom for the city, but says the lack of access is driving consumers away. It is uh, propping up the uh, black and grey markets, uh, but in addition to that, uh, consumers of cannabis in Surrey are going to be going to other jurisdictions where there is legal cannabis. The province says a 2021 survey found that consumers in the Fraser South health service delivery area are less likely to buy cannabis from legal sources compared to consumers in other regions. So why has Surrey taken so long to get into the game? Well, Doug McCallum's council was firmly against opening retail shops. But with the current administration, there's some movement on the file. We should have been in the business long ago. It's a legal substance and, you know, we have a free market uh, system here in Canada. And uh, Surrey should have had uh, stores. Earlier this week, Surrey Council voted on a motion that would have seen the city open cannabis retail stores in city-owned spaces. Basically, Surrey would have been the landlord. The motion failed and was referred back to city staff. The city's business is to regulate the industry to make sure that um, they follow the rules that we set for them. But we're not in the business to actually be uh, landlords to cannabis stores. The Board of Trade says it's optimistic, albeit cautiously. It does uh, impact our our reputation as being an inclusive city and wanting growth and opportunity for our residents and for the business community. Meanwhile, city staff are heading back to the drawing board. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Surrey.